the way I left Caltech is very simple. I ran out of money. Uh, I didn't have enough. I, I, uh, I, I left high school a semester early because by getting a full-time job and a part-time job, evenings and weekends, uh, I could save enough money for, to, to pay tuition for a year. How much was tuition then? 200 a trimester, 600 a year. But those are different dollars. That was the price of the new car. Yeah. Those days in gasoline was 15 cents a gallon. So um, <clears throat> the um, Caltech didn't like us students. Uh, and uh, they were very unhelpful. I mean, I later was a guy, uh, you know, when I was at MIT, I was a uh, student advisor, so I had, so they, you know, and I had to deal with problems that Caltech never worried about. <clears throat> One of them was money. Uh, if you didn't have the money, they didn't like you. And uh, they didn't like us for a lot of other reasons. Later on, I figured out it was, some of it was, was a bit of prejudice. You know, I'm Jewish in background, even though I'm not never been religious or anything like that. But my parents were Jewish, and uh, I realized much later that, you know, a lot of people had prejudices then. You know, did you ever see the movie A Gentleman's Agreement? Mm -hmm. You know what it was about, okay? You used to go to a hotel and they would say, oh, I'm sorry, we're booked. And it was because you were Jewish, and they could tell. Okay, so there was a lot of that. I never noticed it or cared about it, but you could see it, and Caltech had it. I didn't realize it at the time, but it was a problem. But, you know, they treated uh, other people in a very shabby way. So my friend, best friend who went with me to Caltech, he flunked out about a month or two after I did. And he went, also joined the Air Force as I did. 